gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect Hey YouTube and thank you for stopping by my house Okay, that house is Dev Chanel's 40s world Where we get down and we do reviews We mostly talk about um two sitcom shows or reality shows, we like to call them, Real Housewives of Atlanta and Married to Medicine. And you know I'm always coming for other celebrities that I may feel I have an opinion on. But we're going to make this our last video of the night. And I want to say welcome to my channel. Those who are new to my channel, um, subscribe, share my videos, like my videos. But if you haven't subscribed to my channel... Why don't you take the time and go on and do that, okay? And hit that notification bell so you'll know when I drop down videos, okay? So thank you, thank you, thank you for my past subscribers, my future subscribers, and my current subscribers. I couldn't do it without you all. You all support me a lot. And I say thank you. Thank you for that. Now continue to like, subscribe, and share my videos, okay? Well, let's get on into this video that was brought out by Celebrity Insider. Yes, all of it's allegedly, you know, it's just entertainment purposes. So basically, that's what we do on my channel, okay? We just get the meat and potatoes, we digest it, and we just like have opinions on it pretty much, okay? So we're going to be talking about Nene Lease saying that Kenya Moore is dead to her. Can you believe it? I tell you, these two women on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they fighting. For status, prestige, and who is going to be the OG. <laughs> I'm like, Kenya, you could be the new G, the young, younger version of an OG. But let, right now, it's Nene time to reign. It's Nene time to clear house. It's Nene time to clean up the house and set forth, go forth and be great, okay? Uh, but it just is what it is, okay? All of it's just entertainment. All the women are good in my eyes. They have their own demeanors. They have their own personalities. Sometimes their personalities and behavior stinks. And then that's when I come and clean it up for them. But it just is what it is. Like I said, we get the story from Celebrity Insider. It's written by um, a columnist uh, over there, journalist by the name of Ricky Mathers. She titles her title for her article, Nene Leakes Responds. Two, Kenya Moore saying she's dead to her in interview. She'll never, she's never been alive to me. Okay. Going into the article itself, it says Nene Leakes has finally made her return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She recently interviewed with Extra, where she addressed her late arrival and responded to Kenya Moore Shay. And of course, you know, this past Sunday, that was her re-entrance back to season 12. Uh, episode three. She missed two episodes. You know, Nene's going to say whatever she wants. We're going to speculate and f and believe whatever we want. Me, personally, I think she got suspended because of that little closet gate situation. Putting hands on folks. Making people miss teeth. Okay? But it just is what it is. My opinion. Don't have no credible proof that it's true. Okay? But anyway, you digest on it and you make your own opinion or assumptions. Okay? But going back to the article, it said while recently speaking about feud with Nene, Kenya said that the Broadway star was dead to her because she tried to spit on her. Now, see, Kenya think Nene dead, Nene think Kenya dead. Now, what are we going to do? Who's going to be resurrected around here? Okay, if both of them dead, <laughs> I said, these women are something else. You can't make this stuff up. That's why it's mindless drama, and that's what keeps bringing us back each season each episode and each Sunday, okay? Not in that article, just my sidebar, but going back to the article, it said, Jean Lamers brought up a comment during her chat with Nene, who had a simple response. She's never been alive to me, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm like, so you saying, can your mama never born her into the world? Is that what you said, Nene? Who are we looking at on Real Housewives of Atlanta named Kenya Moore slash Daily? Who is that person, Harpo? Who is she, Nene? Okay. But that's not an article. My sidebar again. Okay. Going back to the article, it said, Kenya also previously added fuel to the rumor that Leaks was suspended for putting her hands on a cameraman. Okay. That's what most of social media is thinking out here or, or the uh, viewers of the show. Um, we can't, we can not do but speculate. We don't know, but we're given certain information. Some of, uh, go with it for what it's worth. Some of us be like paparazzi out there, be interviewing their friends, meaning, excuse me, 
the show's castmates' friends, you know what I'm saying? Try to get them to say little bits and pieces so that these big name bloggers can just bring it out. And then people such as myself, I just piggyback off of it, put my spin on it, my perspective, and I just turn it out to you all so you all can see and make your own determination. All right? It's just a lot of uh, speculations. We don't know if it's true, but that's no different than you look at the real or any of these talk shows or uh, hosts that are on their large, larger platforms, and they're given a trending topic to discuss or giving uh, an a, a, a arena to express their opinions on whatever's trended out there in social media, and they parlay it up and give them their opinion. Same thing what we do inside our homes. Uh, that have some of us have offices we film out of, like myself. Some of us have made rooms into studios. Okay, we're gonna have access to this platform to speak our mind. Come what may, people. Come what may. All right. Oh, but going back to the article, that's just my sidebar. You know, I do it here and there. Okay. <laughs> Um, throughout my videos, but we go back to the article. It says although she admits that she did rip the crew man's a crew member's shirt. She denies that played any part in her decision to start taping later than her co-stars. Well, there was no reason or no real reason other than we were just still negotiating or nego uh, negotiating my contract. So many people have speculated and said so many things. I even heard some of my fellow housewives, many of her colleagues, her co-workers, her uh, on stage friends, but off stage, she don't know them. <laughs> Okay, she said, oh, she was suspended. I'm like, what's up? Please call Andy Cohen, okay? Because people get things misconstrued. Now, Nene, you know, if any type of social media outlet even had the phone number of Andy Cohen, do you really think Andy Cohen is going to tell us the truth? Girl, please. That would mess up his platform. His Watch What Happens Live little show he has as well as The Real Housewives of Atlanta. No, y'all give us the teasers for us to partake of. It ain't like we the bloggers or we the content creators go and say what we want to see. <laughs> no, y'all serve it up to us. We either take it or we don't. Okay, and it just is what it is. All right, mindless drama, plain entertainment, not to be taken seriously at all, people. But anyway, going back to the article, it said... um. I grabbed the camera guy's shirt. He didn't have a problem with it. Now, Nene, sidebar. Ah, how you stretch that shirt out on TV and it had plenty force, all right? I think he did have something to say about that off camera, baby. So, let's not. Nobody likes people pulling on their materials, especially their clothing if they paid a little money for it, okay? We don't know. That could have been a Prada shirt. Okay, plain t-shirt as in May, but it could have been a Prada show, girl. We know you had to pay him for it or buy him another. We know. And it was some other alleged stuff that some teeth got knocked out of the cameraman's mouth. But, you know, it's just speculation. It's just going down there uh, expressing itself in the streets. And we're just taking it for a grain of salt. You know, just a grain of salt, Nene. But getting back to the article, it said um, he did... He didn't have a problem with it. I don't know why anyone else does. I've been into a lot of things on this show, and if I was going to get suspended, it sure wouldn't have been for pulling that shirt. There has been physical altercations on our show, and they weren't suspended. I think she's talking about Kenya and Portia and the dragging of the hair and whatnot. Okay. Well, I, like I said, we have uh, the Real Housewives of Atlanta or Bravo franchise have rules and regulations. And y'all need to go uh, in my archive videos and find that one. And I tell you point by point, step by step, how many rules and regulations they got to adhere by or they won't be cast members on the Real Housewives of Atlanta or any of the Bravo uh, franchise shows, okay? They have to follow and toe the line. If they can't meet those qualifications, then they cannot be contenders on either of the platforms that Bravo Enterprises bring out. Okay, True Entertainment is who I'm talking about. But anyway, go search for the video. Uh, it says rules and regulations, the housewives, something to that degree. Okay, but going back to the article, it says um, Nene also went on to say that fans will be seeing a different side to her this season. Compared to any other installment of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, her husband, Greg Leakes, was diagnosed with and beat cancer. Okay, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, Greg, but we don't want to hear that storyline. We, we don't want to go with that storyline for you the whole entire season, Nene, okay? Because Greg is not the only one that cancer affects. 
It's tons to millions to zillion of people that are out there fighting this fight every day that is not on a pu public platform spreading out how destitute it is, how distraught you can be. Everyday people, okay, not entrepreneurs such as yourself having a larger platform to put all this stuff on because, you know, hey, it just is what it is. All right. So let's not overdo that. Uh, and let's not dramatize it even further or embellish on it. Let's find us a good storyline that's not centered around Greg because this is the real Housewives of Atlanta, not the real husbands of the Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. But anyway, just on my sidebar, going back to the article, said the sickness uh, really changed the dynamic of their relationship and it would be something that will be explored throughout the season. I'm sure they're talking about this open marriage type of thing, but I mean, Nene, if you want to get your rocks off with allegedly Peter Thomas, because you know, that's another video I need to come up with, but somebody had put out there that Nene was trying to rock the boat or uh, do the mumbo jumbo with Peter Thomas. Okay, Cynthia's old ex. I don't know if it's true, but I might have to get into that video and um bring it out to you all so we can discuss it. But going back to the article, it said, um, listen, I have learned patience in a whole new way. A lot of things that people say doesn't really bother me. The girls are saying certain things or they didn't like what I said. And I'm going to say whatever I want to say because they say whatever they want to say. Now, it goes on to say, uh, continue to watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta, which airs Eastern Standard Time at 8 o'clock on Sundays. Okay? But that was pretty much it of that video uh, or article I covered on Celebrity Insider, uh, giving us great insight. You got Ricky, Ricky Mathers over there pounding out those salacious stories for us to uh, gravitate to, pick up and read it for our own edification and make our own story plot or, or, or how we want to look at it or, or of the information that was given to us. Now, um, yeah, I don't know how both of them are dead to each other, <laughs> but they're still talking about one another. I'm like, when you think they're ghosts, y'all ghosts or something? Because we show sure them can see y'all, okay? And y'all uh, making me laugh every little time y'all get together and want to talk uh, negatively about each other or one another. But that's all I have for this video, y'all. It was cute, short, and sweet. I'm finna take my behind the bed because I got work to do. I got a job to do. I got work to do tomorrow. Job to do tomorrow. Okay? But I'll see you on the flip side of another video. Y'all be blessed and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I know I ain't perfect